anyone else had their eye on the new heat pen set from Silhouette. Mine arrived the other day and I am dying to try it out. Hello again and welcome back to Silhouette Success. For those of you that are new around here, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you can join our growing community by hitting the subscribe button down below. It is the best way to stay on top of all of the new tips and tricks and tutorials for Silhouette Studio and the new machines. Now, if everyone is ready to learn something new, let's get on to the unboxing. This set comes with two heat pens, the fine tip and the wide tip, gold foil, silver foil, and masking tape. Of course, they look very similar to other Silhouette tools. The fine tip is one millimeter and has a red cap. On the back, you'll notice the power plug at the top and this small metal strip. The strip allows the machine to detect which tool you're using. There's also a power indicator light on the front. And I'm kind of surprised to see that there's not a number two stamped on it to indicate that it's used in carriage two. But this could be because it can be used with the portrait four which only has one carriage. The second pen is almost identical. The cap is slightly darker and the tip is 2.5 millimeter, but I think I'm going to have to label them in order to be able to tell them apart quickly. Is this a thing? Does anyone label their tools? Anyway, you're going to install the heat pen just like the auto blade. Pull out tab number two, insert the pen, then push the tab back in to hold it securely in place. Now let's head over to Silhouette Studio and set up a simple design for our first go round. I think I'm going to use the project wizard for this. So click on file, then new project wizard and select card and then start. Let's rotate that and get the page set up properly. When using the foil tool, you want to find a single line design or use the sketch panel to fill the design in. I found this simple happy birthday sentiment on Creative Fabrica, and I think it's perfect for a trial run. Now, I do have a video on using the sketch panel to fill the designs, and I'll link that in the description and at the end of the video. But for now, I just want to keep the focus on learning the actual tool. One thing to keep in mind during the design process is that the foil is only three inches wide. Make sure that the design is small enough. And now let's take a look at the sun panel. Since the heat pen goes into carriage two, let's close carriage one for now. Click on this arrow, then click on this one to open the drop down for the second carriage. My heat pen has been detected and notice to the left of that, there's a box with a thermometer. Click on that to turn on the heat pen. It now says that the pen is heating. It will also let us know when the pen is ready. At this point, I should be able to choose foil transfer sheets as my material. But when I do, I still get the message setting not found and there is no compatible action found. So here's how I worked around that. I chose cardstock plain for my material and sketch for the action and kept the heat pen as the tool. When I click on send, 
this screen pops up and gives me a warning that I need to load a pen holder into carriage two. I took a chance, ignored the warning, and hit send, and voila, it worked. I'm using a letter size piece of cardstock on a regular adhesive mat. I used the masking tape that came in the set to secure the gold foil. Now all that's left is to load the machine and wait for the results. If you found the information in this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And remember, if you are interested in learning how to use filled in fonts with the foil tool, the sketch panel video will be popping up here in just a few minutes, right after we see the final results. I think that this is not bad at all for a first try. It has nice clean edges and the gold is beautiful against the black background. I cannot wait to try a more intricate design. Anyway, I am off to play with the new Curio 2 debris tray and power engraver. I will see you in the next video.